What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in spin tires and today we're looking at this massively lifted Chevy truck, uh, Chevy Silverado. But right off the bat, there is one major issue with this truck and you'll see in a second. Yep, let me actually, let me go back and do that again. As you can see, this truck is, well, it's front wheel drive. It's dominant, uh, it's, it's dominantly front wheel drive. And, and also, the steering is a little, uh, it, it doesn't really work properly. Um, something gives me the idea that this mod's not finished because, look, you can lock the rear brakes and pull yourself around with the two front wheels. It's backwards of how a silver auto should actually work. But anyway, the mo the thing is, the 3D model actually looks really, really good. I really like it, but the actual uh, mechanicals of this truck and the way it drives, I think, need a little bit of work. So, I'm sure there's, like, I'm sure there's more work to be done on this truck, but um, it's definitely, definitely a, a representation of what a mod in progress uh, is like. It did make it to the workshop, but um, whoever did make this mod, if you're watching this video right now, uh, this thing is very front-wheel drive and needs a conversion. Or, well, a conversion back to the way it was supposed to come anyway. Now, the thing is, even though it's got these massive, like, what look like maybe 42s, I'm gonna say, it's not the greatest in mud, actually. It just kind of spins a whole bunch, which kind of comes out of the fact that it's got a lot of power, and it is actually pretty quick, comparatively speaking, to a lot of other trucks and spin tires. But the thing is, when it starts to get into mud, I mean, it just starts spinning. And it doesn't really dig much, it just spins. And the, the only other problem with it, too, is that it's very... Oh, dude, it's very, very, very vulnerable to damage. It is so vulnerable to damage that, like, if you, uh, if you hit a hill the wrong way, the truck is dead. It'll just get 400 damage points right off the bat, the truck's done. So, it all depends on really how you are going to use it, I guess? But I wouldn't really recommend getting this mod until it's at least converted to rear-wheel drive or back to rear-wheel drive and until the steering is fixed because the steering is not supposed to lean over like that. You see how far the, the wheels actually lean over? They're not supposed to lean over like that. Let's see if we put it into... See if we can start it off in high. No. It, whoa! Look how much it bounces. Holy crap. Let's put it in... The second stage of low, and now it just now it'll just crawl through the mud. You won't really have any spinning issues now. The only problem is it's slow as hell. So it's slow as hell, and you're like, but I want more speed, yo. Honda VTEC things not really in a Silverado, but um, it's funny actually. Oh my god, that reminds me. That reminds me. I was actually just out running some errands in my truck. Uh, the the Dodge, the Dodge Cummins, and the thing is, the, so I'm going down the highway, right? I'm going down the highway, and this, uh, this Cobalt pulls up next to me. Now, I have nothing against Cobalts, I have nothing against people that drive Cobalts, except for if it, if, unless they're really, really ricey. This one was like, it had a fake hood scoop, it was covered in, like, in, like, ricey looking stickers, and I was like, uh, and it, it just gets up right next to me, and just floors it, takes off. And I was like, Okay, buddy. Good, 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 good for you. But, uh, no, it was, like, depending on what kind of vehicle you're driving, people will do that. People will do that once in a while. It's just something, I guess, you kind of, you kind of get used to it after a while. But at the same time, I mean, there are, there are some ricers in my town. I mean, they don't come out all that often, but when they're out, you, oh, you know they're there for sure. If the ricers are out, you know it. That's actually, dude, that's actually a really cool shot right there. I mean, the thing is, the reason why it's such a shame that this thing is front-wheel drive, and I don't know, I can't figure out why they would make it front-wheel drive, but, I mean, look at it right there. That's, that's an epic-looking truck. I mean, that's a truck that I would want to take, like, to the mud bogs. That is a, that, that truck, that in the way it sits right now, that's pretty much a built bogger. And if it was, if it was set up properly, like, if it was dominantly rear-wheel drive, like, predominantly rear-wheel drive, and the steering didn't, lean over like crazy, then, I mean, I feel like it would be a really, really, really good truck. I mean, you just fix those couple of things, and it would be good to go. It really, really would. I would, I would love th this truck if those couple of things were fixed. I mean, I really like it now, 
But, um, yeah, fix those couple of things. If the mod maker's watching right now, just fix those couple of things. And this mod is good to go. Um, ninth? We're in ninth gear. And as you can see, we have zero sway bars. Because that truck just leaned over like crazy. But this, dude, this is this truck's, like, home environment. This is a freaking... This is a swamp slash bog. Dude, this thing is... This is perfect for this. Oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> it just kind of started sinking. Just like, uh, I'm going this way. But no, I mean, if you turn... Look at that. That lean. The lean is ridiculous. I feel like this is, an, this is like about to become an episode of Fail Race. Like, will it roll? Because honestly, I'm surprised it hasn't rolled already with how much body roll and lean it has. God. I want to take this thing to the volcano map and just kind of climb up and down the volcano in it. Because I feel like it could also probably climb pretty well. I mean, it does well in mud. It does well in, like, swamps and stuff like that. But the thing is... You'll see, I'll climb up that little ledge over there, and you'll see what I mean when I say that this truck isn't really the best at climbing over things. Because if you if you if you hit the underside of this truck the wrong way, it is either completely dead or just about dead. Come on and go. Or sort of, I'm flooring it. Okay, it didn't really get any damage. <laughs> That's weird. That's kind of that's that's kind of embarrassing because it didn't get any damage at all. The last time I hit any one of those, um, the last time like when I was testing it, any of those that I would hit with any form of speed would really badly damage the truck. But now it's climbing them like a boss. So I don't even know. I don't know what I don't know what the hell is going on with it. But I mean, the way it is right now, I'll take it, except for the the, the way it's front wheel drive. But other than that, it's actually a a really capable truck. And the steering. That and the steering. Well, and when you hit a tree, you get, like, tons and tons and tons of damage. And the whole side of your truck, like, collapses. But it's okay. We soldier on. Or not, since we're, com <laughs> since we're completely stuck in the woods. Well, I'm not stuck. Stuck. Quote, unquote, stuck. We're not stuck. We just have to back up through the woods. And I'm not really... I'm not really interested in backing up through the woods right now. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this overview of this mod, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Spin Tires videos on the daily like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.